It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. And it is Raptor basketball tonight as the Toronto Raptors go up against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Well, for the Bucks, they're excited about this one and will be laying it all on the line. The intensity, palpable. Two top caliber teams facing off on the hardwood to do battle. And tonight, guys, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Let's decide on a nickname once and for all. Big mm. fella, you going with the alphabet or the Greek freak? Greek freak is cashier, uh, but as he gets better, he'll become a super freak. Oof. Like my main man, Joel, from high school. Yes. He was a freak. Yes. He may soon be calling him the perennial MVP. Uh, I think uh, Greek freak has a better ring to yeah, it. Yeah, I do too. But if you think, a lot of teams passed on this guy. I know what they're saying to themselves. You know what they're calling themselves? Dummies. Oh. That's a good one. That was quick. And now we go to Kevin Harlan as they get ready for the opening tip. The crowd is assembled looking for a Bucks home victory here in Milwaukee, and we've got it for you right here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Looking at Toronto, they took the win in their last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And what really made that outcome a surprise was how lopsided it was. And the story of that game was their terrific rhythm on the offensive end. Right. You could tell they were in a groove all night. They looked comfortable. They didn't rush. It was gorgeous execution. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, we know how fortunate the Bucks are that they uncovered a top five player in Giannis Adendokounmpo. But this creates pressure on him to chase a title while he's in his prime. And with their coaching change and roster changes, every move is under heightened scrutiny. Kevin? He wants to win in Milwaukee, D.A. Uh, can they help him get there? Settling into the new season now, Doris, some teams really finding that groove and their rhythm. Talk about what they can do to maintain that. Sometimes it's easier to get there, but then to maintain it becomes the real chore. Right, and that's where coaching comes into play. Guys trying to pull the right string, play the right notes with their teams. And obviously one of the most important things you can have on a night-by-night -night basis is energy, consistent energy on the defensive end. If you stay in the moment, you focus on the next play. I know 82 games can be a grind, Kev, but if you break it down into smaller chunks, it becomes much more manageable. Good idea. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Toronto right now, Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Siakam in at the four shot. Clock at two. It's stolen by Lowry. Drops in the breakaway layup. Lowry's got the first points up on the board here for Toronto. Well, Kyle Lowry with a little larceny to set up the bucket. Go ahead. Now here is Della Vadova. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Atlanta. Wow, what a crafty player. Gets it done any way he has to. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Outside green. And that's going to be a treble. Just over a minute played here in the first. Anacumbo kicks to Lopez. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Puts it up off the inbound. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. 
Now the pass to Siakam. Lopez with the block. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And now the pass break, Brogdon with the ball. Over to the wing. Elvidova from outside sinks the three-pointer. And here's Leonard. He had 31 points in the win against the Spurs in San Antonio. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Offensive rebound. No good from Valanciunas. And just the kind of start you're hoping to avoid. One for five from the field here early on. Rodden finds Aldridge. Another shot. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Leonard. Toronto, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Here's Valanciunas. Doesn't go for him. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, their last outing was a rough one. Uh, have to be careful of falling in love with that three. Right, exactly, Greg. When the shots from the perimeter are not falling, I think you've got to go take it inside. It's as simple as that. They never altered their game plan, and it resulted in a loss. A shot by Lowry. Wide open. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Well, Lowry had his mind made up. It's the rise and fire as soon as he gets the touch. Passes it to Andacumbo. Over Leonard. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Andre DeCumbo's got his second bucket tonight. Toronto's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside Lowry. The rebound by the Bucks. Boy, that's high impact defense in the lane. Standing tall to deny the easy bucket. Knocked loose. Leonard on the wing. Onto the Kumbo defending. And Leonard gets it to go. And it's onto the Kumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Last time they came together was in Toronto, where they fell to the Raptors. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play, and I think they'll be looking to be more composed tonight. Toronto with the ball following the bucket by the Bucks, and it's Leonard missing. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupations. And it comes off the front of the rim. Toronto trailing. The drive by Green. He's looking for Leonard and finds him. Some solid defense from Antetokounmpo. He does the hard part. Gets through the defense all the way to the rim. I thought the finish would be the easy part. Nobody near Leonard. And it's Leonard again missing. Well, there's no consistency from the field in this quarter. We'll see if he can get his shot going. Logged in against Green. Logged in the pass to Alder. Back to Brogdon. Clock is at three. Fade away. Siakam pulls it in. He does everything right except drain the shot. Green left side. Siakam kicks to Lowry. Pans it from downtown. Lowry's got eight. Here's Della Vidova. He's got five. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Now Lopez, he's covered by Leonard. Here's Antetokounmpo. It's rebounded by Leonard. Toronto's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Green, no luck. The Bucks train. Antetokounmpo up top. He's covered by Leonard. 
Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Aldridge. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You take a look at the Bucks, earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And, of course, there's the Raptors, a few slots below them. And I think for Milwaukee, for me, they've taken the league by storm this season. I felt like they were maybe a year ahead of schedule in terms of being an elite group. Uh, but you look at them right now, and here they are. Yeah, they weren't really on anyone's radar before the season began, but they're definitely there now. Now here is Della Vadova. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And again, the Bucks miss. Raptors with the lead. The feed now to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Well, Kevin, to steal a line from you up high and down hard, Jonas Valanciunas. Go ahead, big fella. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. John Henson's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Rudy Gay's checked in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Brogdon. A new group in now for the Raptors. Monroe's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Billy Cauley-Stein comes in for Pascal Siakam. Right, he's checked in for Danny Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pass to Ilya Soap. They need this. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And just a nice combination of, of size and feel there. Terrific finish down low. The Bucs shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Ilyasova no good on the free throw. One thing you have to admire, Doris, about the Raptors franchise is their sustained success. And that's not easy, Kevin. Last year marked their third straight 50-win season and their fifth straight postseason trip. Very few other teams can claim those items in that time frame. For the Raptors, what a good, solid core. Now here is Della Vadova. Five points in the game. The pass to Connaughton. Pass to Ilyasova. It's good. This game is all even. Ilyasova's got his second bucket of the night. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Van Vliet taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. Here's Leonard trying to get open as Monroe. Leonard dishes to Monroe. Got him with the pump fake but couldn't finish. Milwaukee's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Elvidova scanning the floor. Gay outside. Let's it go from deep. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Delavidova. And it's a three-point Bucks lead. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Toronto. Kicks it to Leonard. Over Gay. Leonard with the bucket. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. Milwaukee's gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Gay, okay, that's a two-pointer. That one misses. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Shot from the wing, and he hits the jump shot. And that's now six points for Kawhi Leonard. Buck shooting to start this game off uh, about 41% from the floor. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Well, how about DeLon Wright having his best season as a pro last year? He had tremendous numbers solidifying his role as a backup point guard. And I'll tell you this, he had some games where he simply took over. And with his quick break in play, 
Let's take a look now and select from a group of point guards that have been killing it from three-point range over the last 10 games. You look at Della Vidova, one of the best shooters in the NBA, top five in the league at this moment. A lot of point guards in the NBA don't get enough credit for how well they shoot the basketball. So give this group their due, some outstanding long-range shooters. You know, and having that element of long-range shooting ability makes them a tough puzzle for defenders to solve. You know, it's an invaluable asset for point guard, and these players have it in a big-time way. You know, there are differing opinions as to who the best defensive player in the league is, but no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. And Wright is a taller point guard, not an easy matchup off the bench. I'll tell you, Kevin, this guy has got a great nose for steals and block shots. He knows how to use the length he has on the defensive end, and he can be tenacious on the glass. Go ahead, DeLon Wright, do your thing. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Doris, when you talk about coaching, aside from wins and losses, how can you gauge if a coach is doing a good job? Well, you make a great point, Kevin, because if an organization is in a rebuild situation, then winning is almost impossible because you're outgunned and outmanned every single night. So to evaluate those coaches, here are the things I would look at. One, are you maximizing the talent at your disposal? Are your player development skills at such a degree that you're seeing incremental improvement from the guys on your roster? And then ultimately, Kevin, are guys playing hard? Are they competitive every night? Even if the wins don't necessarily show in the box score and at the end of the, you know, the regular season, the reality is, are you playing hard? Are you competitive? And Toronto has possession. Following the shot by Rudy Gay, Leonard, no luck. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Here's Connaughton. Traps in the tray. Connaughton's got it all tied up now for Milwaukee. Their third three-pointer in a row. Van Vliet kicks to right. 132 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Leonard. Denied once again. Missed firing at a 30% rate. He's 3 for 10 now. Pass to Connaughton, to the inside, stolen by Monroe. Pass to Siakam. And here's Leonard from three, nailed from three-point land. Leonard's got 11 points. Ooh, with a player this hot, I don't see their lead going anywhere. And Henson kicks to Ilias Hope. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Gay. He's around 14 points per game, four rebounds, and two assists. And this is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. I think they need more consistency from him, and they're getting it. Look for this to continue. I love it. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Ilias Ova. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. He kicks it to right. Down low. Here's Leonard. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Now here is Della Vadova. Five points in the game. Ilya Silva. Got a hand on it. 
just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. To the middle. Back to Van Vliet. Just five on the clock. The pass to Leonard. Over Gay. And it's Leonard missing. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for Toronto. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helped set the record straight of how you pronounce it. The Nigerian way, you gotta say with a D, so it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with an NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you gotta just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are gonna stick with Giannis or the Greek free. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? I mean, they're winning the turnover battle, and, and oftentimes that can swing things your way. Well, you really like the activity on the defensive end. Outstanding, jumping into passing lanes and coming up with steals. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter. We've got Monroe. Wright is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Siakam in at the power forward position. Now here's Gay. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Cranes the 19-footer. Gay's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Bucks. Toronto's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, Kyle Lowry is a player who has worked his way to stardom. He says, I still feel like I can be better. I'm never satisfied. My team is good. But I think the best I can be is a champion. There is no other goal in basketball. Guys? D.A., that's how you truly create a legacy. Here's Leonard after Rudy Gay's bucket. Here's Wright back to Leonard. And no good. Some solid defense from Gay. Here's Connaughton. Out to the right wing. And another three for Milwaukee. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. They get a hand on it. Here's Wright. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Passes to game. Over Leonard. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Raptors trail by four. Pass to Siakam. Right, right side. Shoots from the right block. Offensive rebound. The Bucks have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Connaughton passes to Snell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And now let's take a look at Kawhi Leonard. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. First in free throw percentage, third in steals, and don't forget top five in the league in points per game. He's a premier offensive threat night in and night out. And it's nice when you have the NBA's best free throw shooter just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been completely automatic this season. That's good from Snell. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Hanson. LaMarcus Aldridge comes in for Ilyasova. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Rudy Gay. And Brogdon subbed in for Pat Connaughton. Then for the Raptors, Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Monroe. Green comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Wright. That one misses. Raptors trail by five. Green finds Lowry. Here's Siakam. It's hauled in by LaMarcus Aldridge. 
Aldridge has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's onto Takumbo, and a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Six points for Giannis onto Takumbo. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Inside. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. This break in the action gives us a chance to show you the NBA's current fast break specialists. In the third spot, the Bucks. Yeah, I mean, they've got the athletes to run the break all game long. So that's their edge. They're always looking to take advantage. Here's Snell while recovering. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Anacumbo kicks to Lopez. It's stolen by Green. Lowry inside the line. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Lowry's got 10. Boy, that jump shooting ability, one of the keys to their offense. Between his passing and his scoring, Lowry is so hard to guard. And that one drops. Yeah, and their shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. And Malcolm Brogdon, the son of a lawyer and a college dean, no less. His maturity and thoughtfulness certainly reflect that upbringing. Here's Van Vliet for the three. No good on the shot. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Now, here's Brogdon. T right on him. Onto the Kumbo against Green. Down it goes. Nice one there from out of the Kumbo. And it's a nine point Bucks lead. And with the way Brogdon conducts himself, some teammates call him Greg the President. Yeah, he has an air about him. But he has that leadership quality and has a goal to create an NGO to alleviate poverty and hunger in developing nations. Who knows? Politics might not be out of the question for this young man. Now, here's Brogdon. Jonas Valanciunas unable to get his shot to go. Snell, that's good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Can you, you remember the last time they missed? I really can't. Time They're out, on fire. Out. Seems like they cannot miss. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And he has not been on his game here. He's forcing a lot of shots, and the team is suffering because of it. It's time for him to focus on getting his teammates involved. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Pass to Cauley Stock. And Valanciunas kicks to Cauley Stein. Lock at six. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his first foul. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. Six to shoot. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got rebound number five here tonight. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Adedekumbo finds Lopez. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Giannis at the line for two. First free throw is good. Milwaukee making a switch here. Della Vadova's checked in. Oh. 
Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Now Lowry. He had 28 points in the win against San Antonio. And he didn't take any plays off at the defensive end. I mean, he wound up with four steals on the night. Boy, you can't pin their struggles today on him. He's been on fire from the field. Now here is Della Vadova. Now recovering. Here's onto Takumbo. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Green kicks to Van Vliet. Back to Cauley Stein. And Cauley Stein throws it down. Well, for all the talk about the accurate shooters in the league, give it up to Kyle Lowry for his precise passing ability. Brogdon with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And here are the Raptors now, following the miss by Brooke Lopez. Beyond the arc. They grab their own miss, Valanciunas, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, I think, Kevin, this is something Jonas Valanciunas has hung his hat on, his ability to consistently get to the offensive window. Nicely done. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. Kevin, you know this. There's a long history of great players coming out of Lithuania, and Valanciunas right there with the best of them. Remember, back in 2012, this guy was the MVP of the Lithuanian Basketball League. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. 29 points for him last game against Atlanta. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chances. Here's Lowry following the basket by Brooke Lopez. And Green gets it to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Bucks leading by six. Now here's Brogdon. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shock up two there. Yeah, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Now here is Lowry. And Valanciunas kicks to low. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And now a quick review at the numbers for Valanciunas. Sixth in rebounding. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven. And he competes with you for the entire game. Now here is Della Vadova. He has five. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. Here's Delavid over. Outside Aldridge. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Toronto calls timeout. And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. Kawhi Leonard, he's checked in for the Raptors. And Toronto has possession, trailing by 10. Valanciunas passes to Lowry. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here is Della Vadova. He's tightly guarded. Knocks it loose. Lopez against Valanciunas. Lopez, no luck. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. Count the basket. 15 points for Leonard. Timely passing 
leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Aldridge taking his time here. Leonard again, out of the Kumbo. It's Brogdon on the wing. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Brogdon's got four points this quarter. Raptors trail by eight. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. Toronto working the ball around now. And it's sent back by Lopez. Well, Lopez twice on the pipes. He has the length to do this every time on the defensive end. Kept alive. Here's Aldridge. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And, Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second-chance opportunities. Bounce pass from Lowry. Here's Leonard. No good off the back of the rim. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, certainly a disappointing result, but they'll live with the shot. Uh, you know, they'll take that every time. Now here is Della Vadova. Five points in the game. Lopez, no luck. Well, Greg, and Willie Cauley-Stein, a live-wire seven-footer. I mean, he's got great foot speed for his size. i just like to see him really become more aggressive offensively and try to improve that skill set. But his mobility is so desirable in today's game. Now Delavid over. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. Just five to shoot. Goes up from the top of the key. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look helpless. And here is Brogdon. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. You know, after not scoring a single point in the first quarter, they're still feeding him, and he's showing his appreciation. Now, here's Valanciunas. Holly Stein at the elbow. Leonard against Brogdon. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. Milwaukee has gone a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. Here's onto Takumbo. Great tee that time from Leonard. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Feeds it to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? And we can blame it on a terrible defensive breakdown, one that could possibly swing the momentum here. And we've reached halftime in this one. Bucks lead by nine. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, your guys have been able to limit their scoring. How have you done that? Well, I think our activity, hopefully, in the pick and rolls is making it uh, difficult on them, contesting every shot, uh, denying just our activity in general. High hands and quick feet. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to you, 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 I guess. And not you. Not him? You. Oh, her, for sure. Them. Yes. This is Ernie Johnson. That's Kenny, that's Shaq. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Raptors. To me, they looked out of sync shooting the basketball. Under 40% for the first half. Some of it was poor shot selection, but mostly it just looked like they were out of rhythm. For the second half, they need to push more for buckets in transition. Get to the foul line a little bit more. 
try to get back in the flow. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half about to get underway. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. And how disruptive was he in that first half? I mean, creating havoc, causing turnovers, and really energizing his team. Well, didn't you get the sense, Greg, that this entire team fed off his energy? His remarkable effort on the defensive end really triggered this group. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Raptors trail by nine. They've got Matthew Delavidova. Aldridge out there with Antetokounmpo. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Lopez in at the five. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And it's the Bucks on the break. Here's Aldridge, and a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got three assists now in this one. Toronto shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Green kicks to Lowry. The pass to Leonard. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. And Toronto has possession. 11-point game. Valanciunas inside. Lopez is there. They kick it out to Green. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Six on the shot clock. Here's onto Takumbo. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Absolutely perfect start to the half, setting the tempo right away with an easy opportunity at the cup. Now here's Leonard. He's got 18. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. All right, a chance to check out stats for Danny Green. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Averaging nine points per game, four rebounds, and three assists. And those numbers, solid, not spectacular. And, and sometimes what you see is what you get. There's no doubt. This is a guy who understands his role, knows he's got to give you quality minutes, and that's what they expect from him. Well, with the defense laying off him, you know he's going to pull the trigger. They're lucky he didn't burn him. Delavidova kicks to Brogdon. Back to Delavidova. Shoots. And another basket for Milwaukee. They wanted a fast start coming out of the break, and they are now three for three. Raptors trail by 15. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Lowry drives in. And Siakam has it in the corner. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. Well, that's just taking your eyes off the target before releasing the pass. Very careless. And some changes here for the Raptors. Monroe comes in for Jonas Valanciunas. And it's DeLon right in for Green. Delavidova finds Lopez. Back to Delavidova. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Lopez against Monroe. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's foul number two for him. And the Raptors making a change here. Van Vliet's checked in. DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul.
Adetokounmpo against Leonard. Takes the turnaround J. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Adetokounmpo can't get it to go. Here's Van Vliet. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. I'll tell you, such a tremendous rhythm to that sequence. Great player movement, great ball movement on the lead pass. Delavidova, the pass to Aldridge. Back to Delavidova. Leonard against Zanadokounmpo. Six to shoot. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Leonard, no luck. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Sunday, they'll head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. And then on Tuesday, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks coming into town. And for that matchup with the Wizards, even though they should get the win, I would expect it to be a bit of a battle. Just because they are favored doesn't mean it's an automatic W. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Tony Snell's checked in for the Bucks. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Siakam far from the most skilled player on the floor, but Dorsey finds minutes through his hustle. This guy has got one of the highest motors in the league. He can leak out in transition, finish in the open floor. I'll tell you, this is a jolt of caffeine in a power forward's body. Toronto calls timeout. Players going to great lengths to improve their performance and extending their prime years. We're seeing it all over the league. Doris, it amazes me. I heard a number of LeBron James spending seven figures a year. Wow. That's a one in six zeros to take care of his body. No kidding. Right. Making an investment in your future. Understanding nutrition to training to recovery. Listen, you have a limited window, Kevin, to make money with your body if you're a professional athlete. So why you wouldn't want to extend that window as long as possible? You're playing a kid's game for fun, Kevin. Come on, let's let's lengthen it out if we can. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Well, you want to slow this man's roll right now if you're the defense because you've got to make somebody else beat you. He's cooking right now. Down it goes. Nice one there from Adetokounmpo. Now, I think they'll keep going to him more and more as they look to hang on to their lead. Why not with the way this guy is shooting it? Van Vliet kicks to right. He feeds it to Leonard. Second shot opportunity, and it's laid in by Monroe. Monroe's got his first points in this one. Uh, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? It's Brogdon on the wing. He has six. Elevate over with the bounce pass. And it's Ana de Kumbo penetrating, and the basket is good. Ande de Kumbo's got 23. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. Wright finds Leonard. Floats one up, and it's good on the way in. 22 points for him. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup, the teardrop. And again, it's Giannis on the Kumbo. And the Bucks lead by 14. Well, he just keeps rolling right now. What a terrific quarter for him on the offensive end. Here's Van Vliet. He's guarded by Brogdon. Here's Leonard. Again, Toronto. Here's Delavidova. Seven points in the game. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. Kicks to Aldridge. Back to Anadokounmpo. That's a two from Della Vidova. 
And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Right, right side. Leonard on the wing. Poked away. Five to shoot. Here's Siakam. Milwaukee with the rebound. Andre DeCumbo's got four rebounds in this game. Della Vidova kicks to Andre DeCumbo. Aldridge, the pass to Andre DeCumbo. Back to Aldridge. And a great assist by Andre DeCumbo as that one goes in. Andre DeCumbo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And it's right with the ball for Toronto. And the Raptors call time here. You look at Andre DeCumbo really making a difference here. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. John Henson's checked in for Aldridge. Ilyasova comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Rudy Gay's checked in for Matthew Dellavedova. And it's Pat Connington in for Malcolm Brogdon. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Toronto. Now here's Leonard. He's got 24. Up the floor, here's Gay. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That is his first foul of the game. Raptors trail by 14. Right outside. Leonard draws the double. And Henson pulls it down. Henson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And it's Connaughton missing. The Raptors have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Here's Van Vliet. Back to right. And here's Leonard from three. And the three ball is good. Leonard's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, you know, a lack of effort defensively, and he gets a very good look from deep. Snell kicks to Gay. Got a piece of it, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Now let's step back and have a look at the top passing teams in the NBA this season. In the third spot, the Bucks. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. Now here's Gay. He's got nine. And Ilyasova kicks to Snell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. All right, a moment to check out stats for Wright. How last month turned out for him, averaging about seven points, three assists, and three rebounds. And when he takes over at the point, he really keeps the offense flowing. Well, this is a guy who brings a solid skill set. Excellent Good ball shot. handler, high level Good of playmaking, shot. the perfect backup point. That free throw, no good. Green, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And he sinks the second. Raptors trail by 12. Now, right, looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Ilyasova against Coley Stein. Over Ilyasova, he's on target from eight feet out. Coley Stein's got his second bucket of the night. Bucks leading by 10. Here's Snell. He kicks it to Gay. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at six. 
Henson finds Gay. From outside, off the mark. Toronto's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Green, the pass to right. Cauley Stein with it. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Here's Monroe. Moves back up. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Gay outside. And the Bucks miss again. As long as they can hang on to this lead, he won't have to answer for what's been an off night for him. Green up on top. Defended by Ilya Silva. Shots good by Green. Oh, my. I didn't know. He had the crossover in his bag of tricks. Now I've seen it all. Bucks leading by eight. Snell kicks to Gay. Shoots over Leonard. Misses off the left iron. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. The shot by Cauley Stein. No good. Milwaukee's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Pass to Snell. Pass to Ilyasova. Here's Connaughton. Cauley Stein defending. Here's Henson. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Henson's got his first bucket in this one. And that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Wright finds Leonard. Over Gay. And the shot is long. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. Drains it from beyond the arc. Gay's got 12 in the game. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Cauley Stein. That shot off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Snell, the pass to Ilya Sova. To the inside. And Henson kicks to Gay. Fires from the wing. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Exceptional play across the board. I love their tenacity. Just piling it on at this point. You know, and the beauty is it hasn't just been offense, right? It's been the defensive end as well. They're firing on all cylinders right now. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bucks ahead. They lead by 12. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Let's do it again for this quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Same effort, same mentality. Keep pushing it. Keep moving the ball. Keep cutting. Well, Mike likes how they're working the ball right now. And, you know, coach highlighted it's a brand new quarter. They need to play with the same fire. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So the Raptors five right now. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Cauley Stein, and it's Leonard in at the three slot. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Now here's Green. Outside Lowry. Fires the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got assist number five here tonight. Uh, Kevin, you want to talk about locked in. Kyle Lowry on a mission right now. Locked in against Green. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. At the line for your box. Malcolm Brunton. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
That free throw good from Brogdon. Lopez, he's checked in for Henson. And he makes both free throws. I'll tell you, he's coming through for them at the free throw line today. His form has been perfect. Now here is Lowry, defended by Della Vadova. Outside Lowry. From deep. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Milwaukee leading by 13. Gay outside. The feed now to Della Vadova. Back to Gay. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on Kawhi Leonard. And Gay isn't easy to tie up, using his length and, and muscle to kind of power through the defense. One shot. trail by 16 three-pointer Lowry the rebound by Brogdon nice timing to get up on that shot boy you can't ask for better defense Greg excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter there's green with the three buries the long-range jumper yeah that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed Bucks leading by 13 out left to the wing Ilyasova finds Lopez. Back to Ilyasova. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. Shooting for Milwaukee, Elsa Ilyasova. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And free throw good from Ilyasova. Milwaukee making a switch here. Antetokounmpo's checked in. The Raptors also with a sub. Siakam's checked in. So he gets them both. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Green passes to Siakam. Kicks to Dallin Junis. Outside Lowry. From outside the arc. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Good work there as it goes. And the Bucks lead by 17. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor. The other failing to react. Right. Really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. And here's Leonard from three. Milwaukee with the rebound. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And here is Della Vidova. Pass to Ana de Kumbo. Lock at six. Back to Della Vidova. There's the pass to Lopez. Della Vidova kicks to Brogdon. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his third foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checked in for the Bucks. Now, Anadokounmpo. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively they have got to play under control
Two shots. And he makes the first. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Both free throws good from under the Kumbo. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. And the Raptors miss again. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. On to Dekumbo, no good. Raptors trail by 19. On the wing, Green. He's guarded by Brogdon. Lowry passes to Siakam. Green lays it up off the glass. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. And it's Delavidova with the ball. He brings it up for Milwaukee. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Here's Antetokounmpo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. You know, seeing an uptick in his trips to the free throw line, really, since we came out of the half. Raptors trail by 18. Here's Lowry. Outside Leonard. There's Green with the three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And it's Delvedova missing. You know what? His finishing ability is not really at the level that you would expect from a pro. But he's going to have to start playing with more force. Now here's Lowry. Defended by Delvedova. Six on the shot clock. The three. LaMarcus well, Aldridge grabs the miss. Aldridge has got nine rebounds now tonight. Green against Brogdon. Right side, Aldridge. Back to Brogdon. And again, the Bucks miss. Raptors trail by 15. And here's Leonard from three. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. Milwaukee's gone six of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he's letting a lot of points get away 
at the free throw line tonight. It's got to be frustrating to have all that hard work not pay off. No luck that time either. Raptors trail by 15. A clear look for Lowry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's now 19 points for Kyle Lowry. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. It's out of Kumbo on the wing. Tipped away, and it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. Three-pointer, Dallavadova. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. You know this, Kevin. If you're open, you can count on Brooke Lopez to find you. He uses his height to spot open teammates. Valanciunas with the ball. He's picked up by Lopez. Count it. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separation, though. He was wide open. Dallavadova with the ball. Aldridge finds Dallavadova. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. At the line for your box. Giannis, out of the Kumbo. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And, and, you know, he may finally be rounding into form after what's been a tough game for him at the line prior to this trip. Both free throws good from out of the Kumbo. Now, here is Lowry. Passes it to Green. And here's Valanciunas. And he drops it in from the low post. Valanciunas has got four points now in the quarter. Milwaukee leading by 14. And the double up on to Kumbo. Outside Aldridge. to the paint four on the shot clock and it's out of bounds the Raptors will take it the other way ouch that's a wasted possession got to shake it off and forget it happened guys here is Lowry Leonard on the wing he kicks it to Valanciunas back to Leonard pass to Siakam just five to shoot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, I'll tell you, on the low block, Valanciunas has shown that he can be a skilled offensive player, and the defense has got to pay attention to him. What a tremendous job playing through contact. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Bucks leading by 13. Della Vidova kicks to Aldridge. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still 
get it to fall. One shot. That's good from Aldridge. Raptors trail by 16. Up top Leonard. Adetokounmpo defending. And Leonard gets it to go. Boy, he's carried his share of the load tonight, Kev. But he might need to carry even more if they're going to turn this thing around. Aldridge, the pass to Adetokounmpo. Kicks it to Delavidova. Five on the clock. Got a piece of it. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Hey, one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. And guys, veteran Danny Green moving north last summer as part of the Kawhi Leonard trade. Now in a Toronto Raptors uniform. Yeah, and not the big name in that deal, obviously, but an important piece. Green has shown to be a very capable 3 and D guy, and, and it's the next chapter in what has been a solid career for him. The first free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. And Danny Green, a terrific shooter who also, Greg, happens to give you great production on defense. Yeah, and I have to say, Green's probably alone in history with his shooting and defense. Only player to ever have six or more seasons with at least 50 blocks and 73s. You know, it might be arbitrary checkpoints, but, but nevertheless, it illustrates just what Green brings to the table, a consistent 3 and D player. The Dekumbo against Leonard. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Lowry. Here's Leonard. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Leonard's got it back down to within single digits for the Raptors. Bucks have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Now here is Della Vadova. Now recovering. Feeds it to Lopez. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Bucks lead by 10. Well, Lopez so comfortable down inside. This is where he makes his living, Kevin. And the Raptors call time here. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And, guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, guys. During that last break, I heard what the Raptors coach told to his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. Or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Unloads from 13. Hits the front of the rim and out. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Toronto. To the paint. Here's Siakam. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. 
What a boost to have Kyle Lowry running the show. Selfless, smart, and always looking to create. Now here is Della Vadova. Now recovering. Here's Hansa Takumbo. And it's good assisting on the play with Della Vadova. Della Vadova's got five assists tonight. Raptors trail by 10. Pass to Leonard. Count that one. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. Milwaukee's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that will put them up by nine. Well, Brooke Lopez, such a versatile scorer. He's got great low post moves. He can also step away and face up and make jump shots. Very difficult bind for the defenders. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. Bucks leading by seven. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be foul number five on him, and due to the bonus, we'll be heading to the free throw. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. So he gets them both, and it's a nine point ball game here. Toronto with the ball. 116 left in the fourth to the paint. Here's Leonard. No good that time. And Milwaukee the other way now. And here is Della Vidova. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. It's the first man will post the lead to double digits. Free throws good from out of the Kumbo. They've sheared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And it's Delvin over missing. Outside Lowry. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Green deciding where to go with it. Five to shoot. Tries again. And Valanciunas puts it in. I'll tell you, that's a big time finish through contact. Jonas Valanciunas takes the bump, doesn't worry about it, just goes right through the strength. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. And that's it for him. He's fouled out. Not only that, we are in the bonus and we'll have to go to the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that'll push the lead to double digits. And 
and both free throws good for Della Vadova. Boy, now it's just a matter of getting to that final whistle. Those free throws should wrap this up. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by 11. There's 14 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And down like this, there's so much to talk about. I don't know if one timeout is going to be enough. <laughs> I think it's uh, looking pretty bleak. Here's right. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Now Delavidova. And so the Bucks take the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Rudy. Congrats on the win. What was working for you on offense tonight? Um, you know, I think our defense kind of got our offense into it. You know, we're that kind of team. Our defense makes our offense. We, we run the floor and we, and we share the ball. So um, whenever we out there playing defense like we did today, we usually are in a good position. Great performance tonight, Rudy. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.